Welcome to Forever Family. I'm Caitlin. I'm Jonathan. I'm Maddie. I'm Edith. And I'm This week for Come Follow Me, we are studying Mosiah chapters 18, 18, 18 through 24. 18 through I don't know what my mouth was trying to say. <laughs> but before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when we post Yay! more Come Follow Me videos. Yay! Yay! It's that time to go, yeah, we just started. Make sure you like this video too. Share it with your friends. learned about the prophet Abinadi and how he stood up against King Noah and his wicked priests. Do you think anybody believed in what he was teaching? No. You don't think anybody believed him? What about Alma? Yes. One, One of the wicked priests believed what prophet Abinadi was teaching was true, which was true. He was teaching the true gospel. And so Alma believed him. Do you think that one person, that Alma, could make a difference? Yeah. Yes, he did make a difference. Did Alma believe in God? Alma did believe in God. What he, what he was. He used to be a wicked priest for Noah, for King Noah. But then... He believed in what Abinadi was teaching, and so he converted, and he became a prophet. He became a prophet? Yeah. Who's not a prophet right now? The prophet right now is Russell M. Nelson. Where is he? He lives in Utah. Will he visit Utah? Maybe. Yeah. Let's look at this apple. It's a real apple. It is a real apple. This apple represents a Benedi. And all the seeds inside this apple are all the people he taught. Can, I touch it? Can we count the seeds in this apple? How can we count them? Well, let's. Uh, cut the apple. Yeah. Can you, how many seeds do you guys see in here? I see one, two, three. I have, I see one, two, three. I have, I see one, two. It's like there's two or three seeds in this apple. How many good seeds are in this apple? Uh, one, uh, two, three. Let's say there's only one good seed in this apple. Can you count how many apples will come from that one good seed that one. turns into a tree? One. I think an apple tree produces way more than just one apple. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I saw a pun. A green apple. On, on a green apple. Hey, mine, you can have a bigger apple. I'll give you another piece of apple. It is impossible to know the amount of apples and seeds that one seed can produce. One apple seed that grows into a giant tree. It is impossible to count the number of apples and seeds that will come from that one seed. That would be very hard. Yeah, it is very hard. <laughs> so because of Abinadi's testimony, Alma believed and because he believed, he was able to influence generations of Nephites. Alma's influence was so great that he was able to baptize so many people into Christ's church. Oh. Do you know what happens when you are baptized? Yes, I know. I want to tell you. What happens when you're baptized? You get to get in a big bath. You get to get in a big bath bathtub? Do you know what that bathtub is called? Yeah. What's it called? Bathtub, bathtub. 
<laughs> a baptized bathtub. It's actually called a font. So when you're baptized, you enter into a covenant with God. Do you know what a covenant is? A covenant is a promise. Do you know what a promise is? Yes. Yeah, when you promise to do something, you do it. You keep your promise. What do you think the covenant is that you make with God when you're baptized? You get a promise. Right, you make a promise. That covenant is to serve and to stand as a witness of God, which means you're going to serve God and you're going to tell everybody you know that you believe in Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. And you'll never deny it. You're going to stand up for what you believe in. So when we are baptized, we become members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So we are going to sing the song, The Church of Jesus Christ. Yay! Are you ready? Yes, let's do it now, now, now. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am. I know God's plan, I'll follow Him in faith. I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ, I'll honor His name. I'll do what is right, I'll follow His light. His truth I will proclaim. This brings us to our first scripture this week for our wall, Mosiah 18, 17, and I believe it is Evie's turn to pick. Right here. Right there. Okay, Miss Evie, where's it going on the wall? Hmm. In that big empty spot. Uh, oh, way up yeah. there. Way up here? Yeah. Right up here? Upper. Up here? Upper. All the way up. Yes. All the way up there? Yes. yes. Okay. Mosiah chapter 18, verse 17. And they were called the church of God, or the church of Christ, from that time forward. And it came to pass that whoever, whosoever was baptized by the power and authority of God was added to his church. We talked earlier this week about how we are never truly alone. That when we trust in God, He will always be there with us. Now that doesn't mean that we won't go through trials. But when we do trust in the Lord, He will be there to lighten our burdens. That's exactly what happened to Alma and his people. They had repented of their sins and became members of God's church. But they still fell into bondage by the Lamanites. But they never gave up hope. They, they trusted in God and they kept their faith. And God helped them escape. Good. Yeah. So we are going to practice trusting also by doing trust falls. And mommy and daddy are going to catch you guys. I'm going to hide. You guys ready? Yes. Trust falls. So who is going to trust Daddy first? I'm not. <laughs> Matt, somebody get up on the chair. Let's go, Maddie. What? Stand on the chair. Stand on the chair. Why? Because you're going to trust me. Oh, man. Get up. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> are you going to leave me? Yeah. Okay. Fall backwards and Daddy's going to catch Turn you. Around. Turn this way. Turn this way. Close your eyes. Are your eyes closed? Okay. Okay, fall backwards. <laughs> you gotta stay straight. You can't. <laughs> Stick your arms out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Your turn, Evie. Mm, I'm not gonna trust you. Okay, turn around. You get trust Close Daddy. Okay, try your arms out. <laughs> Maya would not take Does Maya want to try? Hey, Mike. Yeah! <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna fall back. 
Turn around. Turn around. Close your eyes. Okay, fall. Fall. Navy, you're not supposed to look at me. Okay, Maddie, turn that way. Close your eyes. This way? No. Close your eyes. You ready? <laughs> okay, I'm Turn around. Turn around. Okay, fall backwards. Come on, Maya. <laughs> Come on, Maya. Ready? scripture on our wall which is Mosiah 24 13 it is Maddie's turn to pick where's it going where up 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 here up by that purple one up by the red one up all the way by the red one. Okay. Up on this other side. By the purple one. By the purple one over all the way over here. Yes. Yay. Okay. Oh. Okay, all the way at the top next to the purple one. Mosiah okay. chapter 24 verse 13. And it came to pass that the voice of the Lord came to them in their affliction saying, Lift up your heads and be of good comfort. For I know that the covenant which ye have made unto me and I will covenant with my people and deliver them out of bondage. Here you go. To better help your children understand these scriptures, you can read Book of Mormon stories chapters 15, 16, and 17. And of course, everything will be linked below in the description that we have used for our video. And please share with us your experiences for Come Follow Me this week. We know. We can be and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we post more Come Follow Me videos. Bye! And remember, families can be together forever. Bye! Bye.